Welcome back to another anime review. Today we're reviewing episode 7 of Black Clover. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Couch Talk. Again, as always, no spoilers down below. Logan is an anime viewer only. I have read the manga, so you can't spoil it for me, but we can spoil it for him. <laughs> and how these work is we're going to discuss the episode and at the end give it our review and our score. So, all right, let's, let's do just this. Go ahead and jump in. Let's do First this. All, I jump in, I mean like six minutes into the episode. Because yes. they love to waste time with their long ass recaps. And then you got the opening. I it's think just a it lot was, of wasted time. It was exactly four minutes before the episode actually started. Yes. So it picks up basically with Asta being a member. So like, well, let's do the thing we have to do for every new member. Show them around. Get them, <laughs> let them know the place They're like here's your room and he goes to bed wakes up realizes the place has changed yeah. apparently the base changes all the time yeah I guess it shifts I guess before he wakes up kind of jumping around here a little bit um, <clears throat> of course he cleans his room because he's so happy to finally be somewhere that's his own place Right. Uh, we we get you know. They're the Golden Dawn or whatever they're called again, um, where they're at a different league, not my much nicer looking castle. Yeah, this room is huge. It, there's room a, there's is huge quite the contrast nice. between the two guilds and both like how they were introduced to their room. But, um. So, you knows here, and he's like, he's not gonna let anybody talk down to him or talk shit. Like, he knows to respect his elder, but at the same time, he's like, no, you're gonna give me respect yeah, too. He's the, like, this guy's just an you know. He's just an ass. I'm guessing because he's a pe like a peasant. That's why he's just being an asshole to him. Which essentially, yes. Whatever. That's remember, he is the only peasant there at true. the guild. But still, you think it's funny how he's like, "Oh, I'm your sim, like I'm your elder. You respect me." Well, ironically, your elder is the one who let him in the guild, so you'd think you'd respect that decision, <laughs> but apparently not. No, they they got their own mindset. Then we go to Sister Lily and the gang. They get the letter saying, "Hey, you know, made it. They're so happy," and they're like, "Oh, let's prepare for." Asta to get back, and they're like, "Oh, you know what? Asta pass too. What? Asta pass what? And then Lottie Yada, some what? Stupid, stupid, overkill jokes from two episodes ago. Yeah. Ago. They have legit um, no faith in someone they raised, <laughs> and <laughs> it's whatever. I know it's to play the underdog card, but come on, come on. Now this is where we get to to Asta waking up." run into a pillar because hey the base has changed uh the base changes its shapes all the time I don't why? know I don't, I don't know, know because, why. probably because they destroy it all the damn time and they have to repair yeah they don't say why and we go on a house tour yeah we get the... a montage of the house tour and I think they show way too much here so do I it, um, it's just dragged out and not really necessary also now we have the, a second the yeller. Scene with Captain Yami is fucking hilarious. That so. one's pretty funny. But we have a second character who yells a lot. So yes, now we... he is also from the boonies too. So uh, the booty thing. It's kind of annoying to be honest. Just how there's everything's yelling. This whole tour was all yelling. It's like, why? Why do you <laughs> the need black to yell? Balls, they're a rowdy, loud bunch. Logan. Yeah, but. Why yell? We already have a yeller who yells so much that everyone hates it, but... Oh well. That's just me. So after the tour, we finally get to the parts that matter. <laughs> which is like 11 minutes and we meet Noel, who is the one that obviously called Asta Insect at the end of the last episode, which we got again in the little preview in the beginning. Cause, you Just know, in case you forgot. 
And just in case you forgot last week's episode, and in case you forgot her from when the Silver Eagle, Nozelle, Silva, Silva, uh, said, hey, we don't want you in the family. Right. So we're, which, we're getting a new character, pretty yes. much, which is, she's royalty. And which she, she lets them know. She's she kind of a, royal. she's kind of, a, a she's like a, bitch. yeah, she has a bitchy attitude towards <laughs> people who aren't royalty. Which it does give good explanation why, like after. Yes. So after she like shoots her little water thing, and it goes off and hits uh, Magna, Magna, instead of Asta. Which later we learn it's just because she can't really control it, but she's she basically gives them attitude, is rude as hell to them. Asta's still kind of nice, and like doesn't like. He's not mean back or anything. Magnus kind of offended, but that's to be expected. He just got blasted. <laughs> he he does get blasted, and he's he has the tough guy act. Right. He's not like a tough guy, but he tries to be that guy. Um, <clears throat> I do like it. I do like the Magna character. They do kind of go a little overboard with him a bit with the screaming, but um, so yeah, so she basically like leaves Asha like you know what I don't need you guys yeah she disses like, you guys are the worst magic knight squad exactly throws her cloak on the ground throws her cloak and we go to after that Asta's outside couldn't find a toilet so he's like you know what I'm just gonna pee outside <laughs> even though we just went on this long tour man come on you for gotta real. remember where it's at you could have just been like you know I'm gonna go out for a walk or something they couldn't use that no he's just Pay attention in your tour. <laughs> or just, you know, ask literally anyone and they'll show you. But whatever. We'll just... He had to get outside, so they they plotted him to go outside. <laughs> so we find out Noel is just training. You see the targets on the trees, but none of the trees are hit. It's just a bunch of holes in the ground. And it's because she can't control where it goes. And this is where we get into her background story here, where we finally get to see kind of why she's stuck up, kind of like why sh- she missed uh, Asta earlier and hit Magda and all this. Like, basically, her life kind of sucks a yeah. lot. Like, So obviously she was born into a high-class royal family, and with that came super high expectations, and like you have to basically be... Be perfect right off the bat. There's yeah. apparently no training period for her. For people real. in the royal family or you know sense of familyhood jesus christ <laughs> it's kind of well, crazy i get also why his her brother kind of hates her just because as he said like their mother died giving birth to her so and he's like why couldn't have you died instead of our mother uh which is fucked up that's but, pretty like, messed up i understand I get, the probably, anger he probably had like because he's older, so he probably he knew his mother a lot more. Because oh, yeah. he's much older. Because he's right. already a captain of the Magic Knights and everything. So he knew his mother pretty well. And then she ended up giving birth to this flawed noble. Which she kind of takes as a personal attack. Even though it has nothing... To, it's not it's, her fault. But it's in not his her mind, fault at all. it is her I fault. Think, I think he just has some feelings because of the whole... Like, obviously losing someone. So he wanted to direct it at someone... And he chose the easiest choice, which was the... The, the complete fa- failure who caused the death. <laughs> yeah, the failure. Um, which, so, instead of... And she just wants to... She's just like, alright, I just want to prove I'm not a failure. Like, Yes. I just That's why show she's training them. out here every day, trying to learn to control her magic. And... Uh, she ends up... Noticing Asta, well, his bird kind of gives it away. His bird that's been following him since the little ceremony thing from like episode two or whatever. Right. Three, four, however long it took him to get there. But, (laughs) and she gets nervous because she thinks he's going to mock her like everyone else has in her life. Right. Which causes her emotions to go out of control, which then makes her magic go out of control. And we learn that though she can control water, she cannot breathe underwater. Right. So she makes this 
well, it gets out of control and encases her, which she clearly has a shit ton of magic power since she produces like so much, and yeah, she's already he, been out like, there. Even but... everyone in the black holes are like, "Damn, that's an insane amount of magic," <laughs> and they're like trying to figure out how to stop her because like Captain Yami's like, "Well, I could just destroy the magic, but it will probably kill her." Uh, Fenrir's like, "Well, I can't use spatial magic. Cause I ain't gonna get close enough," <laughs> and you're like. Hmm. Asta just lands in his hands after being blown away from the water. Yeah. Well, they said if only they even said if only we had a way to nullify magic. <laughs> I was like, you don't Jesus, like that? you don't like that transition, man. No, I f- it's like it's like mocking my intelligence. It's like we just last episode went over how it nullifies magic, and they're like, if only. If only. It's not like they don't know. They were there too. Like, just say... Just... I don't know. There's something like weird. say, we need Asta or something yeah, like that. Yeah, or just not say. even mention it at all. Just have Asta still land in his lap, and he's like, oh, you'll do. And then proceed. Surpass your limits. And he throws them. <laughs> Captain Kami's always about people surpassing their limits. <laughs> Surpass um, your limits. So... Asta goes up, saves the day, brings Noel down. Noel still is a nervous that she's gonna get mocked, rightfully so. Right. It's like she's only dealt with that, and of course. Well, she technically Asta, failed in front of everyone, so. Yes, that is true. But of course, Asta's—he's just a nice guy, you know. He, <laughs> like, he's—he's he's from the bottom, so everyone above him, he just looks up to as like. Like, he just looks up to everyone. He's not somebody that will look down upon someone because he is at the bottom. Right. So, he, like, he sees positive things or just good things in general. And he's just like, you know what? If you could control that, you'd probably be unstoppable. Yeah, he's like, wow, so much power. That's amazing. <laughs> and then she calls him by his name to show that she accepts him, even though he's a peasant. <laughs> and then the, Magna just walks up. Magna's like, you know what? Oh, you could have just said you couldn't control your magic. We all are right. these, these well, washed up magic knights. Right. Well, he's Lots. like, wow, you didn't tell me you were a royal fa- failure. But he's like, jokes on you. We're all failures, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. You you'll fit right in. <laughs> they are very I, supportive of each other, which is nice. Yes. Well, you can't really talk shit on someone else, but you're also a mess up. True, but so, I mean like. It's you can see the contrast between like the black bulls are kind of like a family, like a dysfunctional yes. family, and the golden stuck ups are like <laughs> they're like a assembly line of <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> just <laughs> assholes. <laughs> they're just, they're all about power and being the top. Right. Well, the the leader of it doesn't seem too bad, but we haven't really seen much of him. True. That is true. But if any, if, as the if, Silver Eagle leader, Nozel yeah. Silva, he's a bit of an asshole. For real. I feel like um, if you're royalty, you're just born an asshole. <laughs> uh, the show does make it seem that way. Like I feel like every um, royalty that we've come across has been a dick. At, yes. I'm uh, pretty sure pretty all of them have. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so far, yes. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, but that's basically the episode. For you manga readers, that would be chapter 5. Uh, that's it. It's still too slow. But, like, it's still too slow. Like, the first 6 minutes... Basically, the first 11 minutes Here, could have been cut down. This is, the game like we, this is the game we like to do with Black Clover. It's called Sum It Up in a Sentence. We introduce Noel. That's it. That's it. That is that is true. <laughs> the, uh, the, the... I feel like I wish they would have connected the next chapter to this one. That way we get some we get moving and there's conflict that ends the episode. Right. So like the next chapter ends in the middle of conflict. But so but we're not gonna get there. We should have got there this episode in my opinion. Uh because like I said, the first eleven minutes you could have done First of all, they need to stop with the goddamn four minute recap. <laughs> It's not four minutes, like two minutes plus the two minutes for the opening. Yeah. Just do the opening, get straight into the episode, no recap. I exactly. just saw the episode last week, I'm not brain dead. 
it's I understand why because it's a weekly show, but not it doesn't require. If you tell the story well enough, like, you don't need to remind showed... people. The problem is they showed like what the last two minutes of the previous episode. They could have just showed the last like. It, well, the thing of is, Noel just saying, "Oh, an insect." Exactly. That's the only thing that was relevant in the flashback because everything else had no bearing on this episode. It's like we know he's a black bull. What? Why do we have to be reminded? It's not like if I watch this episode, I'm like, "Oh shit, he got into the black bulls." Wow. <laughs> When did that happen? Oh, true. Very valid point. Um, so yeah, they could have definitely put in chapter 5 and 6 into one episode instead. It feels like they're like, alright, we got 51 episodes. Let's, dra- let's get full usage of those 51 episodes let's and drag do- it out as much as possible. They're like, oh, 51 episodes, let's just do 51 chapters. Who cares what's like- in the chapters? Exactly. Like, I'm fine with the Yuno stuff. Like, the Yuno stuff is completely original material they're using. I honestly wish there but... was more Yuno stuff to fill in, like, like cut the tour in half and maybe cut to Yuno given a tour that's, like, completely different. Like, here's this. Here's... I think it's because it's just not in the manga at all. Like, once it gets, because, like, the main character is Asta, and that's who are they tell us point of view story from so you know kind of gets shoved off to the side so i think they're trying to like bring you know into it to make it so he's not just completely written out right which is but a good idea is, I, which which i like how they're doing that but i think they don't know how they should do it i agree but i feel like they should go a bit farther just giving me one 30 second scene doesn't really do much it's just because like even you know scene it's like yeah, the guy's a dick, but we knew that last episode when he was still a dick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to, like, that was a, just show us a bit more. I just wish they showed a bit more of you know. Yeah, I, it's definitely what they need to do. But that's it for the episode. Do you want to just go ahead and get into our scores? Sure. You want me to go first? I'll start. I'm giving it a, a four. Um, It's not really, it wasn't good. It wasn't even average well, I was a little bit below average um, there are scenes I like a lot and there are bits I like a lot I love I still love Noel's character but the problem is they're just wasting way too much damn time exactly. and like I was literally bored so bored during the first half I wasn't really paying attention it helps that I read it so I could have not pay attention but even if I hadn't read it and I was just watching it I'd be like damn this is fucking boring yeah, I... and that's just how it comes off. Like, a lot of it, like I said, could have been cut down to two minutes. Like, if I can, well, here I'll give it a four and a half, but the <laughs> the pacing is an issue. But if I can, if I'm watching this episode and I leave for five minutes and come back and still know what the fuck's going on, or at least feel like I didn't miss anything, then something's wrong. <laughs> that's true. Like if that I true. if I would have left right after the opening. And came back right when Noel showed up, I would have got everything I needed from this episode. It is like, true because like you don't need to see a tour of the place. I get I get that, some that, parts that tour actually like yeah, I get that matters to Asta. But that's never gonna be relevant in the story. It's not like they're gonna be it's not like they're gonna show him moving through the base to get places. Right. I understand like just cut it down. Don't spend too much time on stuff that doesn't really matter at the end of that. Like, at the end of the day, it didn't really matter. Like, it was, like I, most of it was trying to be comical, in my opinion. Like, the yeah, scene with the dogs say. or Beast. Do those even come back later, or was that, like, a one-time thing? Uh, It was in one page, and I don't remember it ever coming back. Yeah, see, like, so. it, th- there's not important. Why don't you show us other characters doing stuff too or something or i don't know the thing with uh it's just way too slow sister lily and the father was also i think original i'm not i can't remember that, I was that didn't really have much either and that didn't really like they did ex- know they did exactly what we expect they expected you know and they didn't expect asta which they already established once again they like go through <laughs> these cycles of going over the same thing like i have five and second was, memory like, trying to repeat their uh, like comedy i guess their same humorous joke they use with them every single time right it's like oh asta made it what it's like okay <laughs> we get it 
I don't know why you're surprised when he fucking pulls out a ten foot sword and <laughs> cuts down this magic ex magic knight. But I don't know. It's just way too slow. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, but I think that does it. Do you have anything else you need to add or anything? Like no, that? I have I, nothing to add. I hate just saying the same thing every review that it's too slow and it wastes time. But that's how it is. Like, it's just... I feel like I didn't <laughs> learn much at all. I like yeah, Noel. I... Like, that's the po- one positive, I guess, from the episode. Was Noel. Well, I I, she was a bitch. Time. But I, I mean, hope like... they pick it up next episode. I say this every time. I hope I hope they pick it up. They already know they're, gonna, they're stuck to this one chapter. Yeah, whoever directed this, thing. shame on you. You're way too slow. All right, I guess it's time. Spiel time. It's spiel time. Yes, so again, <laughs> as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share the video if you have anyone that you think would like it. Uh, obviously, if you're this far in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> hit the like button. Um, hit the notification bell thing if you want to be notified every time we post. And uh, be sure to let us know what you thought about the episode, what you didn't like, what you did like, uh, maybe anything you disagreed with us about, uh, anything of that nature. Uh, And until next time, peace out. See you.